Hello everyone, this is Sandra at The Whispering Well. So just before Christmas, um, Hay House had a sale and um, I got a couple of decks in that sale. This is one of them. Um, the other one is the Shaman's Dream Oracle, which I will do a walkthrough of as well. But this is the Gateway of Light Activation Oracle by Kyle Gray. And I do like Kyle Gray's decks. My favourite one of his is the Angels and Ancestors. Um, the first one he did, the Angel Prayers one, I wasn't so keen on because it wasn't really my thing. But Angels and Ancestors I love. And this one I, I quite like. But I've only had a really quick look. I've not looked at it properly. So I thought I'll go through it with you guys. So this is a 44 card deck and guide book by Hay House. It's in one of their nice boxes with the cutouts. Now this is actually quite difficult to pull apart. But I guess that's good because then it, you're not going to pick it up and it's going to just fall apart. So this is the back. Just check that you can see. Right, activate the ancient wisdom within. This oracle is a stargate portal connecting you with the infinite intelligence of the universe. Each card is an energetic bridge to spiritual retreats, chakras and guardian beings, leading you on a journey to connect with divine consciousness and receive messages to raise your vibration. You were born to light up the world, let the gateway support your destiny. So it's Kyle Gray and Jennifer Hawkyard is the illustrator. Inside the box, in the top half, it says, as above, so below, so within, as without. Connections to heaven and earth through the stargate of your heart. And in the bottom part of the box, I call forth from within the light of source. Thank you for standing at the forefront of my heart and mind. Thank you for activating the ancient wisdom of my soul. I welcome in the support of heaven, earth, the stars, light beings and beyond. And so it is. So a really nice box. And then we have the guidebook. Let's just check that we're in shot. Yes, so this is quite a chunky guidebook actually. Um... So let's have a look. Let's see how many pages it is first. So 167 pages. So that's quite a good size guidebook, isn't it? So contents, how to use your gateway of light, activation oracle, activations, gateways, working with the cards, free will and the law of attraction, approaching with integrity, Bonding with your deck, storing your cards, conducting oracle readings, raising the vibration, shuffling and clearing your cards, strength and challenge. Jumping cards, jumpers, that's interesting, isn't it, that it's mentioned that. Reverse cards, how often to do readings, asking questions, the four pillars, important. Suggested spreads, two card spread, strength heart and challenge spread, stellar gateway spread, Akashic record spread. Enjoy the experience. And then we have all of the cards listed here, which there are 44. We have an introduction. How to use your gateway of light activation oracle. We've got all the activations, gateways, chakras, etc. in here. So quite a bit of information there. Working with the cards, free will and the law of attraction. Approaching with integrity, bonding with your deck. And we've got an activation prayer to bond with your deck if that's you know something you'd like to do. Storing your cards, conducting oracle readings. Raising the vibration, shuffling and clearing, reading for yourself, reading for another person, strength and challenge, jumping cards, reversed, how often to do readings, asking questions, 
four pillars. So obviously that's authenticity, devotion, love and service are obviously the four pillars. And then we've got some suggested um, spreads here. Stellar Gateway, that's quite cool. The Akashic Records. And then we go into the cards. So we've got interpretations of the cards here. So we have a small black and white picture, the name of the card and the uh, words or phrases underneath it. So it looks like you get two and a bit pages. Yeah, or maybe two pages, perhaps two or two and a bit pages for each one. So that's basically it with the guidebook. On the back it says this powerful deck bridges this realm and the next depicting 44 windows and stargates for energetic travel through time and space. You'll discover how to connect with the divine guidance and ancient wisdom of spiritual retreat spaces, guardian light beings and your own chakra energy centers through intuitive readings and dynamic spreads. When your intention is combined with the imagery of the cards and the empowering messages in this guidebook, Divine Wisdom is activated within. This deck is a stargate portal that allows you to hone your spiritual power. It holds the reflections of the magic, intelligence and wisdom that's waiting to be called forth. Let the gateway of light support the remembrance of your spiritual self. So this is quite cool. A lot of this kind of does resonate with me because I do like the idea of like oops sorry just jogged the camera I do like the idea of like portals stargates beings from other worlds that type of thing so these are the backs I love these backs just look at that that's like a portal isn't it and just look how cool that is and then we've got these stars around it's a lovely blue back it's really nice matte cardstock really nice buttery smooth matte cardstock so that's really nice and the general hay house oracle size for the cards so let's make sure that they're in shot properly for you let's check yes so <clears throat> the first one we have is Akashic Records. Clearing old stories, releasing past lives, freedom. And this is something that um, they say that you can, if you're in the higher vibration, that you can connect with the Akashic Records and even some crystals like such as this one um, can have keys in them for helping you to connect with the Akashic Records or the Akashic Realm. Then we have Akashic Stargate. Look at this. So cool. I love this with the flowers. It looks a bit like heather or something, doesn't it? And then the bright colours here and those mirrors. Like you could just step into those and which one are you going to step into? So this is Akashic Stargate, aligned with purpose, crossroads, no wrong path, no wrong path. So whichever one you choose, it's not going to be like a bad or terrible thing. Ancestral realm, karmic release, healing the lineage, boundaries. Love this because it's like a stone um, circle or standing stones and look at this coming down here so much way so so nice oh well angelic frequency angels are here you are safe potent connection now again some people might not connect with this if you're not into angels and that type of um Thing, you may not connect with it but saying that although it says angelic frequency and stuff here and angels here this to me almost looks like it could could be a star being or 
um, a being from another planet or universe or something like that. And that, even if it was that, it could still have an angelic frequency. So that's how I would look at this card. Oops. Stuck together. Oh, look, how cool is that? Look at the eyes. Anunnaki light codes. Now, if anyone's into... Um, aliens or the uh, theories about um, the fact that our timeline as we currently know it may be off and um, we may have been visited in the long long distant past by a race of beings called the Anunnaki so this is what this is talking about here the Anunnaki light codes energetic shift new information end of a cycle i love the colors in it though and it looks really bright it really looks like rays of light are going to shoot out of that card the eyes they're so cool oh well arcturian light codes evolutionary downloads recalling power future thinking now these cards are really really um resonating with me um, because of my interest in other worlds, other dimensions, other beings, that type of thing. So, and I know that's not for everyone and that's totally fine. The central sun, abundance, downloads, regeneration, success. So we've got like a scarab beetle here. So this um, has kind of Egyptian vibes to it, doesn't it? Chamber of the Violet Flame, Karmic Release, Radical Transformation. Look at the colours in that. This lovely purple and the pinks that we've got here. Really, really nice. Yeah, these cards are definitely speaking to me. Oh my gosh, look at that. Wow. Crown Chakra Upgrade, Divine Connection, Holy Experiences, Miraculous Energy. That's like amazing. Um when i used to go to development circle i was actually told that um a couple of people actually said they could see white light like this central column coming out of the top of my head which would be the crown chakra so this when i turned that over that light really hit me there and we've got some symbols and things here and obviously the dove but that's like lovely oh wow yes Crystal Skull Wisdom, Clarity, Divine Healing, High Vibrational Energy. I'm loving these so far. And this is actually a little bit different to what Kyle Gray usually does. So, which is great, you know. The Divine Matrix, Interconnectedness, Synchronicity, God Incidences. Mm. Now that word wouldn't really resonate with me but it doesn't but saying that though it doesn't have to be the um christian god it can be if you are christian and again that's totally fine for me i'm not but i can look at that in a different way so it's still really cool we've got this like flower of life pattern here earth star activation and here we see a person of color so that's really good too Anchoring, grounded action, Isis energy. So again, more kind of an Egyptian feel with Isis energy. Emerald tablet activation, cosmic ordering, divine alchemy, conscious manifesting. That's lovely. I can almost hear like a noise of something shooting through there and the noise of this light like a noise radiating out of it a bit like you would see on science fiction films or something like that oh this is lovely Gaia gateway activation learning experiences wisdom transmission earth intelligence I love that halls of a mentee initiation secrets revealed treasures uncovered initiations Halls of learning, spirit guides, confirmation, great lessons. Love that. So bright. 
Hathor light codes, light immersion full system upgrade power recall. And again, this is one of the Egyptian goddesses. Hathor. I think she's the goddess of healing, but I could be wrong. Heart of Source, all-encompassing love, unconditional acceptance, serenity. Lovely colours again in that. Oh well. Higher heart activation. Dropping shields, divine love, your heart is healed. That's lovely. The pinks and everything. That almost makes me feel emotional this card and that doesn't often happen to me just reading out your heart is healed holy grail inner discovery finding sacredness you are what you seek that's amazing picture to the greens here and then coming into this bright oranges and yellows i am presence light body activation accessing the divine within and look at this being in the middle. Oh, I'm definitely going to love working with this deck. Oh, wow, look at this. Inner Earth, Base Chakra, Strength and Security Laying Foundations. But look at this, how you've got this tree and then you're seeing into the earth here. My hands are actually tingling at this point. Um, can you imagine if you went down through the earth and there was something like this in there like that and then there's this light at the end there oh my gosh this is so lovely so gorgeous and like I say my hands are tingling and that doesn't happen very often with decks it's happened before but not often karmic board clearing energetic clearing rewrite your story live your truth Oh wow, Lemurian seed codes, and I'm all into Lemurian crystals. <laughs> Embracing sensitivity, uniqueness, living with grace, and that's lovely, the colours in that. And it's even got like the striations which you do um, get on a Lemurian crystal. And I, I think that's what that's probably representing. Memories of Atlantis, Spiritual Acceleration, Progress Technology. Lovely. Merkaba Activation. Look at the colours coming out of that. A rainbow. And that is Transcendence Ascension. You are rising up. Order of Melchizedek. Melchizedek. God. Terrible at pronunciation of some things. I think it's Melchizedek, whatever. <laughs> you can see anyway, guys. Embraced by light, mission uncovered, don't give up. Sorry about that rubbish pronunciation. <laughs> Orion activation. Oh, wow, look at the colours here through that gateway see again i think i could do path working with these this is supernova recreation renewal and rebirth by light palladian activation coming together harmony in the heavens and resolution lovely colors again sacred inner space sacral chakra tenderness sensuality it's lovely, this flower in the middle. Seraphim's Gateway, Voice Activation, Angelic Attunement, Divine Spirit. Gorgeous, look at these wings. Shambhala in Initiations, oh my god. That's, it's giving me chills, this deck. <laughs> Retreating to Recharge, Trusting in the Process and Dharma. I'm sure a lot of you will have heard of um, <coughs> Shambhala. Serious star blessings, yes, proceed, be seen, push through. It's really nice, look at the clouds. Solar light upgrade, solar plexus chakra, inner fire, willpower. Solar soul star activation, fulfilling soul contracts, remembering 
who you are. And this almost, it looks like the um, falcon headed god um, from like Egyptian mythology that I forget the name of at the moment, but I'm sure you'll be shouting it at the screen. <laughs> Star gathering, stars aligned, remembering home and soul family. Star being healing codes, important information, wounds are healed, recharging, love that. Look at the face and this whole planet here. Stargate heart, heart chakra opening, unlocking generosity and we've got this green colour and the heart chakra of course is this green. Stellar gateway activation, infinite potential manifestation vortex. Sword of Light, Divine Protection, Cords Cut, Breakthrough Energy, love that. Oh, look at this. Temple of Truth, Throat Chakra, Authenticity, Self-Expression. The way that comes through this, it's like two gateways and the rush of this water coming out. Again, I can almost hear it. And all of this greenery and mountains in the background is just lovely. Third eye activation, brow chakra, inner vision, clear seeing. Thoth light codes, light initiation, great teacher awakening, divine magic. And I think this is our last card, yes, Venusian Galactic Council, star being guides, answer the call and time to shine. So that's the entire deck guys and I absolutely love it absolutely I just know that I'm going to get a lot of use out of this one it's really amazing absolutely love it um, again probably not for everyone but I do really really like it so I hope you've enjoyed um, going through this deck with me um, let me know what you think um, maybe it'll be one that you might like to pick up for yourselves so yeah anyway I hope everyone is doing well and I shall talk to you all soon bye